I'm not gonna tell you no more that last piece of chicken is mine. Hello? Hey, good afternoon, sir. Hey, how you, how you doing? I'm good. Um, my name is Damien. I'm a, um, my name is Damien. Do you know who I am? Damien from the priest family? Oh my God! Hi, family! I'm actually the, um, um, I actually have a child by your ex-wife. You know who I'm talking about? Man, oh man, I'm a bit, uh, 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 yeah, yeah, you talking about old girl, man, uh, yeah, you talking about old girl. Old girl, exactly, that's exactly who I'm talking about. So, uh, you mind if I ask you like a couple questions real quick? Yeah. Oh, wow, I really appreciate that, man. I heard a lot of things about you, I've just, um, I know you're probably wondering how I got your phone number. Um, your phone number was sent to me by, by a T-channel. You know what a T-channel is? Yeah, it's one of them places where you, uh, where you go get, uh, 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 health stuff. And, you know, you're one of them little tea shops where you get health food and tea stuff from. And something like that, right? And, and that's what you're talking about, right? Yeah, exactly. So, I wanted to get to the truth about something. So, obviously, you know who Erica is, right? I know her very well. Yeah, uh-huh. You know her very well. So who is she to you, sir? She my ex too. I was married to her for four days. Yeah. Four whole days, long days. Hmm. So where did you meet at? I mean, like, where did y'all two meet at? Yeah, yeah, we, uh, uh, we worked at, uh, yeah, we worked at McDonald's together, man. Oh, say that again? Uh, yeah, McDonald's, yeah, McDonald's, we was, we was at the, uh, I was on fries and she was on buns, you know? Sometimes she'll work the, ca the cash register. Mmm, so y'all so y'all basically work at the same police department and y'all just like hooked up from there? Correct. Wow, so, so let me ask you, and I know, you know, this is kind of cringy coming from a guy that she has a child by and now, you know, you're her ex-husband, I mean, you know. So when y'all first clicked, like, you know, how was it when y'all got together? I mean, it, it must have been mad because y'all both in uniform, working in the same police department. So was y'all like in the same patrol car and stuff like that? Say that again? Everything was good at first, you know, and then, you know, she started, you know, showing a different side, you know, showing a different side. She, wait, you said that she started showing you a different side of her that you didn't like? Correct. Wow, so, so, this different side of her that she started showing you that you didn't like. Now, you're speaking of Erica, right? Your ex-wife. Correct. Okay, but what was that side? If you don't mind me being personal and asking you, what was that side that she showed you that made you look at her differently? Look, man, I'm gonna tell you the truth, man. She's an evil person, man. She's hateful, man. Like, when you say evil, like, like, what, she digs, I mean, does she dig up her nose or something and eat her boogers? Nah, my man, everybody eat their boogers. I eat my boogers sometime, man. I ain't talking about that, man. No, I'm not talking about that. On our first date, man, you know, she wanted me to pay her way inside. You know what I'm saying? It's evil. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on for a second, man. Can you please just report that again so that way that we very, very clear? My man, no lie. She wanted me to pay her way in the movies on our first date. No lie. Just evil, man. Just evil. Mmm. You know. That's sick, man. That she just a real sick person, man. I mean, that is very sick, man. But here's the thing. It's weird because I have a child by your ex-wife and she never mentioned a word abortion to me. And on top of that, she just had a baby recently and she never mentioned a word abortion at all. So you sure that that wasn't like, just like your imagination or anything? I mean. Man, I'm 100% positive, man, that, uh, you know, she's very evil, you know? She's very evil, man. And uh, one morning, man, she, she cooked my toast too long, man, and burnt it, man. I told her, I said, I like my toast light. I don't like it too brown, and she brought it back too brown. Just evil, man, just evil. Wow. I mean, what other, like. You pay me to go back, man? 
then pay me to go back. What? Unless you got $25, I'll go back right now. Give me $25, I'll go back there right now. But you can't pay me to go back, man. I'm gonna stick with that. You can't pay me to go back, man. I don't care. Unless you got $150. Can't pay me to go back. Can't pay me to go back. Wow, couldn't pay you to go back to her ever, huh? He's the worst person I ever met in my life. She's the worst person you ever met in your life? Correct. Wow. So, I noticed you don't even address her by her name while we're talking. You never addressed her name one time while we were on this phone conversation. What's the name? Oh, girl. Oh, girl. Wow. So, why do you, I mean, was it that bad to where you don't even say her name anymore? She left a bad taste in my mouth, man. Sour taste, man. Real nasty. Wow, man. So, so, so let me ask you this right here. Because I don't want to take too much of your time, you know, and I appreciate you doing this interview with me, sir. But was there anything good at all that you have to say about her? I mean, can she cook? Like... Man, she cook a little bit, a little bit. You know, one time she burnt my part tart. I was mad about that. She can, she can cook a little bit, you know what I'm saying? A little, I ain't even gonna get into all that. I ain't, we, we're not gonna get into all that. Wow, do you have like... Do you have bad nightmares about the time that you guys were together? Like, do you have like bad nightmares? Like, oh my God, I can't believe that I was with her. I have nightmares all the time, man. I, you know, I have nightmares all the time. Man, let me tell you something, man. One time, she come home from work, right? Cause she did a double shift. And I got off early and ain't had no double shift at McDonald's because they had Roger, he was gonna flip the prize. So I said, nah, you know, I'm gonna go, I, I, I get to go home early. You know what I'm saying? And, and uh, and, and she come home and I'm playing, I'm playing, uh, uh, I'm playing PlayStation with her first, her first husband. You know, I'm trying to show some love, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to show him some love because, you know, he was married to her too. You know, and then I know that I'm the second husband. So, you know, I, I try to make me play PlayStation. She come in the door from a double chip asking me what he doing in the house. I'm like, he knew you first. Man, just evil, man. She just evil, man. Evil. Uh, is that bad? Just don't want a brother to have no fun. So, basically, sir, is what you're telling me is like... I mean, because, man, her had an off and on thing. I, I mean, do you watch YouTube videos? Or do you ever watch YouTube? Nope. Oh, okay, because, like, man, her have, like, our ups and downs, you know. But, um, like, the reason I asked that, because you said that you feel sorry for the next guy. So, meaning that, so, what advice would you give me, sir, since, since you, you know, you guys were married for, what, just a very short amount of time, correct? So what advice would you give me, being that we've been dealing off and on for three years and we also have a son together? You better run as fast as you can. That's my advice, buddy. Yeah, you better run as fast as she evil. She won't let you play with her first husband. She won't let you, uh, uh, she'll burn your, she'll burn your pot tarts. She'll burn your, your toast. Man, I'm telling you, ain't nothing good about her, man. You better get away from her, man. She won't let you sleep all day. You know what I'm saying? She always asking you for money for bills. I don't, I know I live there, but that don't mean nothing, man. I, I just, you know, this still her place. I, well, I gotta pay for something. Man, just run, all right? But, but, but you don't think that I should pursue the relationship with her? Like become like a big happy family with her? No, 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 no. Don't do it. You better run fast you can. You better put on some track shoes right now and start running. You better run. No, 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 no. This is totally unexpected. I was not expecting this, sir. I mean, this sounds like you really don't, like you had a really bad experience with her. I did. I did. I had a bad experience, man. She gonna get mad at me for bringing her car. Now, she gave me her car. It was on full, I do admit. But you can't get mad because I brought it back on E. You can't do that all the time. You know what I'm saying? You can't do that type of stuff to me. And I brought it back on E. I, I told her, as soon as I get, you know, my my next week check, I was going to give $5 to put in there. She disrespecting my dog, my cat. I just can't deal with her, man. I just can't deal with her. Wow, I've never heard anyone talk so ill about one individual. So, like, how do you feel about her growth, man? Like, I, I know that you don't watch YouTube, but she is, like, 
there's not a lot I can tell you because you know you are ex-husband, but this chick man is on the rise, bro. She's you have no idea, but like, how would you feel if she just like became a millionaire next month? I mean, would that make you feel different about her? Like, would you have any regrets? I wouldn't care if she a billionaire. I wouldn't go back for nothing in the world. I know on tomorrow, not yesterday, she talking about me. I know she talking about me, but but I wouldn't go back for nothing in the world. Nothing in the world. Oh my God, this is horrible. Wow. Well, sir, Jesus. And I love money. I wouldn't go back for nothing in the world, man. I have nothing in the world. I don't care if you give me five billion dollars. I wouldn't go back for nothing in the world unless you give me five billion dollars. But I wouldn't go back for nothing in the world. Wow. Jesus. Well, sir, I'm not going to hold you up or take any more of your time up. Um, I would like to ask you this while we're on the phone, and I should have told you this before we started the conversation. Um, when I turned my camera on, as you know, you know, I'm not just her son's dad, but I'm also a YouTuber as well, which means, I don't know if you're familiar with YouTube, but we do videos for a living. We film our everyday life. And I probably should have told you, but I did film this video um, for a YouTube video, and I recorded this conversation. Are you okay with me to upload this conversation that I've had with you? Yeah, yeah, you can, you can upload it on the tube, you. The world need to know about her, man. How she do me, man, man. I'm telling you, man. The world need to know. We can't even get our, you know, our beauty rest. Because she want to wake you up and ask you, do you got a job, man? The world need to know about her, man. Go on and spread it, man, on the tube, you. Because... Because, you know, not only for me, but for other people, we want to be aware of this woman so so people can know what type of woman that she is. Wow, she's not to be messed with and a very, very evil person. Well, sir, listen, I want to say thank you for your time. I, um, I appreciate you accepting my call and not hanging up on me when you found out who I was. It was just important for me to get this interview from you, sir. But I want to say thank you so much and you have a wonderful and blessed day, sir. You too, my brother. Uh, one more thing, uh, can, 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 can I borrow $25 from you? It's 25 man. I'm telling you, she ain't no good, man. Can I get $25 from you? It's 25 man. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome to another exciting episode of Is It Really Reality, guys? Once again, man, you know, my boy Cryer came through, man, and he made a good point, man. You guys, some some of you guys, you know what I'm saying, I'm not talking about everyone, but some guys, you know, you guys go for any little thing. You know, when they come on and they're acting like, you know, they're fake pages and stuff, you can't follow this stuff, man. They're looking for attention. They, they're jealous. They're hateful people, man, that want to take somebody else into the ground because they're living a miserable life. That's all it is, man. And we know, like Cryer said, when you go to the page, and I told you guys this a while ago, I say, man, when Psycho, all you got to do is, is is make up a fake page and, and, and they will flock to you, Psycho and all the rest of them, man. You just, just all you got to do is hate Cryer and Erica, man. If you want to get some attention, man, and they will team up with you, man, and try to, you know, give you all the support you need to take Cryer and Erica down. I mean, come on, man. This do not make any sense. You coming on over here, you know, this, who, man, listen, man. Psycho, you and your posse need to round up and get out of town, man. Because this stuff is on it. You, you probably get your, you know, two, three views on it. You know what I'm saying? You probably get your little nice little rhyme on it. But you're not going anywhere with this stuff. Like, once people know that it's fake, it's over, bud. Now you guys have been exposed, and we don't care about seeing that stuff anymore. Erica came out and said, this is not a cousin. It don't have nothing to do with nothing. These are hurt and broken and bitter people, man. These people are hurt, man. And they come on and they, they, they try to hurt people, hurt people, man. You know, it's just as simple as that. Hurt people, hurt people, man. So stuff like this, man, we just got to look past and keep going, man, because there's going to be more coming. And cry, man, if you don't got haters, you're not popping. That shows you, man, and it shows all your haters. 
They showed you that without your name, without Erica's name, nothing is popping up, not on this side of town, not with the muckers or, 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 or the psychos. You know, there's nothing going on. They got to put you in the ball. And that was the whole catch with Warris and Mucker. You know, they coming on, you know, they, 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 the views was falling down through the floor. Man, I'm talking about they was almost down to the devil. They were so low. And, and, and you know, they having, you heard the conversation, Cryer, man. I mean, they, they're they having a money problem time in that house. You know? And that's what's going on. So they had to come back with something to get the stuff back roused up. You know, it's but hey. They want to fight, try to fight this war that they're not going to win. Let them come on. Every time they come, you're going to get knocked back down, Warris. Now go ahead, back to your dungeon. But because, Warris, you're the, you're the key person to this, you know, this organization, this sick organization you guys got going on. We know it. You know, you put the battery pack into all these guys' back. You go, you and Psycho, you send him from page to page. You know, the, 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 to, to cheer him on, you know, you, cause you know he's, he, he's the dumb ball at the group. You say, hey, they expect you to do anything so you can go on only every page and just show your face to make it official. To let people think, hey, this is real because big dumb ball is in the comments. But it's not working. It's not working at all. So you guys gotta regroup now. Nobody is falling for it and we're gonna expose you every time. Nobody is falling for it. So go back and finish planning your fake win and, and psycho you. <laughs> Mama Celine, I'm telling you, you gotta gotta do some more activities with this kid, man. You gotta have to do more activities with this kid. Every time you're not doing activities with this kid, he's out starting trouble on the playground. Alright? Now you take this kid back in there, man, you, you, you get one of those slinky reach, wristbands that reach from here to, from your job to the house. So you know anything, you're gonna have to get one of those electric shockers on this guy. Every time you go to the computer and try to do something with those, <laughs> with those green screens, he gets shocked. And every time he come near the computer, you know? This guy here, I mean, man. Give me, give me him and Mucker, man. I need guys, he got two, three, what, three idiots that's masterminding a plan. Oh my god. Oh man. Guys, I just came to bring you that. Like, share, and subscribe. Because it's only gonna get better, guys. It's only gonna get better. Psycho Warriors and Mucker, they're gonna keep trying to fight this war. They're never gonna win. So we're gonna sit back and we're gonna laugh at them and we're gonna make jokes about them because they're trying hard. They're kicking and scratching and going crazy. Trying to get their YouTube mess off the ground. It's not gonna work. Like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, goodbye.